Welcome to Train Reviews. Wow, it's been a long time since I don't do these reviews, but here we are again. So before we start reviewing Beast from the Marvel Legends X-Men, I have a couple of, of, of announcements to make. First of all, I would like to thank all of you guys for all the support that you have been showing. We have reached the 100,000 subscribers, oh my goodness, I am so happy. And if you follow me on my Instagram, I post something about it. I, I'm i I'm supposed to, to make a special video about it, like all the people do, but I am currently so busy working, finally, with uh, uh, Infinity War Part uh, 6, the rest of the series. Uh, but I, but before that, I need to make uh, Black Panther stop motion. It's like a prequel to the rest of the series of Infinity War. So everything is coming to place so damn good that you're going to love it. But those two, I believe that those two are going to be the, the last stop motion from from Marcus Films of this year because those stop motions are big. So. <laughs> Yeah, guys, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and, and Facebook for more info and more behind the scenes of the project. So make sure to, to follow me. And yeah, let's go ahead and continue with this toy review. Today, we're going to be reviewing uh, Marvel Legends Beast from uh, the X-Men. And this is the Caliban Builder figure. I only have Gambit and beast right now so i don't think i'm going to be building caliban anytime soon but uh beast is this figure is a must have so i i have a lot of luck to find this action figure at my local store so yeah if you uh, get to uh, see this figure at your local store you must get it so here we have it out of the package beast and this figure i am so impressed with this action figure i'm we're going to talk about it in in more details in just a moment but uh this figure comes with uh the head of caliban the builder figure uh, it has a really nice detail, the painting, but like I said, I don't think I will build this figure anytime soon. So, yep. Um, also, this figure includes two pairs of hands, which is this one is the fisted one, fist, <laughs> and this one is open release hand, which looks amazing and very, very big. So, on to the figure, finally. Oh my goodness, this figure, it's awesome. I'm so impressed. And now I know why uh, they, they were getting this figure so badly that the stores run out of it. So, this is this figure, I believe this, this figure is, is rare now. So, it's going to be very difficult to find. Like I said, I was lucky to get it. Uh, to buy it from my local store I, as you can see here the tow articulation are back but um, I believe that they add that articulation to very particular uh, figures so yeah the painting is, is really nice uh, I believe it needs a more shadow or uh, like a black wash painting on, on the fur on his you know on his body but no, I, I believe this figure is just perfect. I do have uh, one complaint though, so I'm going to display it in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, this figure is just really great. Uh, my complaint is that it only comes with this face expression, with this, with one head, uh, with his open mouth. <laughs> uh, I wish they could add in a, a, a closed mouth or different face expression. So that's my only complaint with this figure. Uh, the face sculpting, the painting is just perfect. I really lo love it. Very comic accurate. <laughs> the eyes, uh, I believe they're a little bit uh, messed up painted. So yeah, you look at that Wolverine haircut. I love it. <laughs> now on to the articulations. Oh my goodness, I can't. This figure, I'm so impressed with this figure. 
Okay, so let's let's go ahead and review the head articulation. Uh, the head articulation are just perfect, really great, as uh, very normal. The arms articulation. This guy has this type of articulation which I love. <laughs> For the rest of the arm, uh, has a normal articulation of any other other mobile legend bicep. Articulations, two point of articulation on the elbow, and for the wrist, has the normal articulation, full articulated hand, which I love as well because it's very smooth. But the, the big thing here is that this guy has this type of articulation in this area of the arm, and I love it. I love this art articulation because it adds more dynamic to the figure, more, I don't know, like more you can pose this figure in so many fun and great uh, ways for the for the other arm the same way it's the same thing which i love we're very smooth so yeah he has a perfect articulation now for his torso his body this is the fun part of this figure this guy has this type of articulation which i also, I also love uh you, he can push it uh, back and forward he has a little bit of swivel as well but he, this guy also has this other articulation right here which is fantastic i mean i don't think i've seen something like this from these uh uh, uh, from these action figures from Hasbro um, uh, by the way it doesn't have articulation right there so yeah <laughs> uh, but that's something one of the things that impressed me because I, I don't think I've seen something like this in the newest Marvel Legends uh, for the legs they are fully articulated as well um, has really nice and decent articulation it does has its limitation though, like for example, that's the far, far that his leg can reach. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall this figure is just perfect, it's just really, really good. It, it, was, it is a huge improvement. Uh, like I said, he we have the toe articulation. Um, I believe that they add the, this type of articulation to certain figures. Uh, like for example, the Builder Figure Lizard also has this art this articulation, but we don't see this type of articulation very often on the Marvel Legends. So yeah, that's something. Uh, by removing the and the hands, they were very easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they they look fantastic when you when you change the the hands. Like I said, I I wish they added a new facial expression. Here's a concise of comparison with Wolverine and Sabretooth. They look fantastic. They are the most savage and dangerous mutants on the X-Men. And I hear the comparison with the SH figures. Figuars, Thanos, uh, Marvel Legends Villa figure, another of his friends, Colossus, Mafex Batman, DC Multiverse from Mattel Aquaman, and uh, Kylo Ren from uh, uh, Hasbro as well Star Wars so yeah guys what do you think about this action figure this picture I mean this action figure it has go, has gone to my list of my favorite figures and I'm I'm running out of uh, words here so I'm just gonna sign out and thank you guys for watching this review like I said follow follow me on Instagram and Facebook um, you will get noticed of my upcoming projects. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.